Karen and the kids left for church and John left for his law firm. An hour and 20 minutes have passed. The church service is just ending and now you will have the opportunity to meet the rest of our main characters. Matthew and Jennifer are talking about Pastor Mark's sermon. Karen is making lunch plans with a friend. Jake is trying to hurry his mom out the door. That was pretty cool what Pastor Mark was talking about. I like hearing more about heaven because I always think about my dad being there. I just hope I'm going to make it to heaven someday. What do you mean hope? You can know that you can go to heaven and see your dad. Yeah, my mom is 100% sure she's going to heaven, but I don't feel sure about myself. Well, why don't you feel so sure? I've done a bunch of bad stuff in my life, and I know I can't get to heaven on my own. And I've heard Pastor Mark say you have to give your whole life to God. And right now I have a bunch of stuff planned, like this trip to Europe and going to college next fall. If I become a Christian right now, he'd probably want me to save the money from the trip and give it to poor kids in a third world country. Or go to a Christian college and become a pastor's wife or something. Jennifer, when you commit your life to Christ and you ask Him to be your Savior, He's going to guide you in every decision that you make throughout your life. But He's just not sitting up there waiting for you to give in to Him so that He can make your life miserable. He loves you. And he wants you to be his friend. After all, he suffered death in the most horrible way on the cross so that you can spend eternity with him in heaven. But let me tell you from experience is that having God in your life it just makes it so much more exciting. So, you don't think God's going to make me a pastor's life? <laughs> I don't know what God has in store for you, Jennifer. What I do know is if you follow Jesus and you put your trust in him, your life's going to be more exciting than you, than you can ever imagine. Yeah, I guess I should just quit worrying and trust God. So, if I give him my life, I can trust him with the decisions of my future? Yep. All you have to do is put your trust in him. Are you ready to do that? Yeah, I think I am. Will you help me, Matthew? Yeah, let's pray. Repeat after me. Okay. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of all my sins. Please forgive me of all my sins. And come into my life. And come into my life. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. It's in your name, amen. In your name, amen. Awesome. Hey, girls, guess what Jennifer just did? What? I accepted Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh, it's so good. Thanks. Oh, okay. So cool, Jennifer. Thank you. Hey, we're going to celebrations later on. You want to come? Yeah, what time? Like 6. Oh, that sounds cool. We can do it. Oh, it's just like 20 days to hang out. <laughs> Mom, are you ready to go? Jake, I wish you would have come to service with us today. If you would come just one time, I think you would really enjoy it. This religious stuff just isn't for me. I don't have time to waste on trying to please God or anyone else. I'm here on this earth to enjoy my life. I'll worry about all that other stuff whenever I want to settle down. Jake, I worry about you. God wants to be your friend. He can change your life just like he has mine. You don't need to worry about me, Mom. I know what I'm doing. I've got my life under control. Can I go? Can we go now? Hey, Jake. Hey, you want to hang out with us sometime? Yeah. Whatever, man. Well... Last week, I let the kids decide. We ended up at McDonald's again. So this week, the adults get to choose. What well, sounds good to you? Oh, I don't know. What about Olive Garden? Some of those breadsticks? Oh, oh, salad. Yes, that sounds really good. Or, I don't know, maybe cheddar and some of those biscuits that they got with that. Sounds good. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, we'll have to go grab all the kids. Okay. Well, do you think they'll all fit in our van? I've got one. Okay. Wait, I think my phone's vibrating here. Just a second, sorry. Hello? Oh, hi, Ernie. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Are you sure? He found John unconscious in the office when he got there. All right. Okay, the ambulance is on its way. Where are they taking him? Okay, they're taking him to the hospital. I've got to get going right now. You go, Karen. We'll get the kids to take him home with us. Call us when you know something. Okay. We'll be praying for John. All right, thank you. Did you hear the excitement in Jennifer's voice when she realized the simplicity of God's plan? She decided to accept Jesus as Savior and live her life for Him. Although she doesn't know it, Jennifer will spend her last 59 minutes on earth enjoying her new life in Jesus with her friends at celebrations later this afternoon. Karen, on the other hand, is experiencing panic. She has gotten a call no one wants. Her husband has been rushed to the hospital. As she drives to the hospital, Karen will replay her last conversation with John over and over.
hand over in her mind. Remember, time is always passing, and we never know when we'll see our loved ones for the last time on this earth.